So our topic today is the gift of blessings. And I was thinking, you know, that we might scratch our heads thinking, what can I give to people for this Christmas, you know, <laughs> or, or maybe their birthday or, or the change of the year or anything, just something that, you know, is a moment of appreciating someone and showing it through a physical gift. But of course, the, the gift of blessings is a whole different thing. You know? And one of, the, one of the really nice things that I've seen happening now is um, when it's someone's birthday, and I've seen that for over the last couple of months, when it's someone's birthday, like an important birthday, then people will gather blessings and good wishes and videos and photos and put them all together in one beautiful video or one beautiful string of like a garland of blessings and offer that to the person who's being celebrated. And somehow it's just such a beautiful thing where everything comes together, where everyone's love and good wishes for the essence of that person comes together. You know? and, and of course, it's, you know, you know that each person has their strengths and weaknesses and, you know, their ins and outs and things that I like about them and things that I don't like about them. But when it comes down to offering blessings as a gift, then it's really seeing the essence of the person, the essence of the being, and wishing them well. You know. and, and I was thinking that, you know, the times when, when I felt that, when I've been on the receiving end of that, then sometimes I don't even know that that's happening, but the feeling inside is of where everything's easy, you know, where, where it's easy, where there's lightness, where there's the sense of upliftment, the sense that everything's possible, um, the sense of hope of, you know, that any issues inside or outside can be resolved. And so receiving blessings is something that's very subtle. And I think not you know, you may not even know where it's coming from and, and that's okay. But I often feel that it's, I connect it anyway, not always, but I often connect that with the sense of receiving the well-wishing of people, consciously or unconsciously. And, and so I think it's something that's really, really precious to be able to to do and to exchange and, and even, you know, to consciously generate good wishes. And so I was thinking, wanted to, you know, see what you thought uh, when this, when you hear this word blessings, you know, the gift of blessings, what comes up for you? You know, what image, what feelings come up for you, whether it's in terms of giving or receiving, you know, and I'm sure you've, you know, we've all experienced both, but what is it? What is at the heart of blessings? You know, what do you think? Would love to hear your thoughts. Please, yes, Watsi. Hi Radha, I always think that um, in order to appreciate your blessings, you you also have to add the the, the curses. So so the, the way we, I was looking at at COVID, um, you know, everybody sort of saw it, it look, reacted quite neg not everybody, but a lot of people reacted quite negatively, especially with the second wave. With the first wave, it was um, resilient and everybody was singing out of the windows and everything. And then with the second wave, it was sort of, oh no, que pale, you know, how can we do this again? Um, and I actually think that in order for us to appreciate the gifts that we have, 
for example, the gift of breathing. Um, my daughter had actually got the coronavirus. So for the last 10 days, I've been nursing her and trying to stay safe myself. And it's just the blessing of being able to breathe, the blessing mm -hmm. of being able to actually nurse my daughter, you know? And so I, I, I begin to look at blessings as, as things that it's like a yin and yang. You have to look at the blessing that comes with, with, a, with, a, with a negative event and, mm -hmm. and look at the blessings that come with that. And so for me, the blessings have been um, being, being um, present for my daughter and, and in the moment, uh, not, not trying to, you know, not trying to catastrophize, not trying to think of all the possibilities that, you know, we may end up in hospital, we may do this. I just stayed in the moment. Mm -hmm. I stayed with each infection. She got everything except, <laughs> except being unable to breathe, thank goodness, and the diarrhea. But everything, every other thing she got. So, so it was just staying in the moment. Um, really seeing the blessing of being together at Christmas, seeing the blessing of being able to nurse her. So I, I, I look at it as a yin and yang, over. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Watsi. Yes, that's really, I think it's, um, it's very true what you say is that we need to look at, in a sense, the, the depth to be able to, to really appreciate the heights, you know, and so it's not that the depth is bad, but it's, you know, it's different from the heights. And so we need to be able to understand both sides. And, and so, yes, I mean, I, I think that I can really relate to that because I feel for myself is that I've only begun to really, for example, trust myself when I've been able to go into the depth of my shadow side you know otherwise otherwise i was never able to really appreciate the qualities that i have <clears throat> and it's still you know it takes time but at least to be able to say yes i do have qualities and and they're great and i'm happy to be me but we do need to see the full picture and, and so yes and that's when the blessings become even sweeter and even more precious and more powerful. So, yeah. Anyone else? Any, any thoughts about, you know, what's at the heart of blessings? When you receive them, when you give them, when you feel them around you, when you're able to see them. And sometimes when you don't notice them, what is it that makes you notice the blessings? And, and what is it that helps you to feel blessed? No. This is the thing is that it, it's very much a gift. No, this is where, where it's a gift that it's something that I can use and a very useful gift. No. So not just something that is a decoration piece. You know? <laughs> which is all very nice, but but actually something when a gift is really useful. I remember um, uh, a teacher of mine in school when I was just in my last years of school. Um, there was one occasion where it was a school play and I had to be the narrator for the play. And I remember afterwards, this teacher said to me, you must use your voice. It is a blessing that you have. It's a gift. You know? And I remember looking at her thinking, you know, what is she saying? I'm so shy and I can't, you know, it was difficult enough to, to read something. And, but, but afterwards, I, I really realized just how much when something's a, a blessing, then it's like you are a trustee for that. You know? So whether it's some talent that you might have or a quality or any kind of anything in terms of, you know, whether it's you call it good or bad or whatever, however you see it, but it can become a gift. 
you know, and this we've seen, there's so many stories of people who have disabilities and, you know, and, and have been able to turn it around and make it into something amazing. You know? And so, so a blessing is something that where there's no effort, you know, where, there's, where it's something that's useful that you can use, but you're a trustee of that. You know? And I think that that's where it can be, it can become something even more uplifting, you know, because you're using it not just for yourself, but you're using it for the benefit of many, and but including yourself, you know, almost exclude ourselves with that. So, so yes, anyone who feels like sharing something about the subject, most welcome. And, and then I thought we would do a little exercise together. So, anyway, as you're maybe reflecting on it, what I thought in terms of an exercise is to create three blessings. You know, so, so blessings are basically good wishes. You know, and a way of seeing things that is uplifting. You know? So a little bit like what he described as well. But when I'm thinking of offering the gift of blessings, then we're going to choose three, three things which could be a person. So a person's not a thing, but in general using this word, but one person, um, we're going to choose one maybe part of nature, which could be one of the elements, it could be a place, uh, doesn't matter, it could be you know, a country, but something on a physical level that's not a person. And the third one is you. you know? So there's you, one other person, and one part of nature. So it could be animals, it could be anything, any part of nature. So three, three areas, shall we say. So one is you, one is another person who is either close to you in your life or someone that you, you know, you know, basically. And then the third is one aspect of nature. So we're going to create three good wishes, three blessings you know, for each one of these. And, and so just seeing what, um, that's right, all this is saying. So from here, uh, what comes up with the word blessings is goodness, positivity, absolutely. Those are the ingredients in fact of um, being able to generate what we might call good wishes and pure feelings. You know? So pure feelings is when there is absolutely no um, selfish motive in there for me wishing what I'm wishing. You know? So it's not that, um, oh, I wish you would be more patient, you know, because then life would be easier for me. <laughs> so, so, I mean, that's, uh, it's nice to wish that someone would be patient because, you know, life would be easier for them for sure. But if I have my intention is that, well, then things would be easier for me, then there's something that's kind of, it's more like, um, you know, a blessing with a string tied to it. You know? So <clears throat> we're basically, we're, we want a bit of commission from that, you know? <laughs> and so the, the most beautiful and the most powerful blessings that come from the heart, really. And, and when, when it comes from the heart, there's only <clears throat> the aspect of offering, you know? So, so we're not forcing even, but we're offering. And so it's a little bit like an open hand where you offer, you, know, you offer that to the being, to the person, to the place, 
to yourself. And then, of course, what they do with it, that isn't really our business. No. And so just like if you give a gift to someone, you know, to inquire, so did you use that? You know, have you tried it out? Well, maybe sometimes, but if it's done in a very <clears throat> natural way, but um, so anyway, we, we need our gifts to be free from strings and filled with this energy of, um, of deep, pure love, you know, and deep, genuine appreciation of the beingness of the other person or the place, the, the deep goodness of the person, you know. And so even, you know, in a sense that everyone deserves the gift of blessings, everyone. And, and even this word deserve, I kind of prefer to avoid that, you know, because it comes into this thing of um, reward and punishment. You know, and I prefer to leave that to the, to the laws of karma, you know, the laws of cause and effect, which are very automatic and natural laws, a bit like the laws of physics. They don't need anyone to implement them, but they just happen automatically. And so the same thing with the laws of cause and effect, you know, that if someone is due to receive something, then they will definitely receive it. But I don't know. I don't know what's their story. In fact, I don't even know what's my story, what's in store for me, you know, what's in store for them. And so therefore, all I can do and the best thing I can do is to generate good wishes. So, so good wishes are not advice, you know. So we don't want to be giving people advice in our blessings, in our gift of blessings. We want to offer the best as we see it, of course, which we can only do that, but to offer that in a way that we're not implying something that is negative about them. And also like the thing of patience that, oh, I wish you have lots of patience. <laughs> so it might be that we're implying that you're a really impatient person and I really hope that you get more patient. <laughs> so, so we need to make sure that there's this pure energy, this clean energy there. So these, I feel, are some of the ingredients of blessings when they are a gift. So there's a lot of cleanliness in there. And, and we're talking about giving the gift of blessings. So one thing is to receive blessings, but here we're talking about giving the gift of blessings. And so, so one is cleanliness and one, and then another is to have this very wide, generous vision. So it's not a little bit more of, or, you know, less of something, more of something, but it's a whole, the whole thing, you know, that, um, you know, may you be fully happy and, you know, fully contented in everything that you choose to do, you know. And, and for example, and, and whatever is your wish, whatever is your blessing, to, to let that be carried with, you know, by the energy of your mind, which is, in a sense, it's like the hand, basically. So it's like the hand that's holding the gift. You know? And so the hand of the mind is holding the thought, the pure wish, and offering that. No. And so you can visualize, if you like to visualize it in a certain form, in a, you know, like a flower or a gift box or, or anything, or even just the energy, the color, doesn't matter. 
but to, to create this blessing. So, so would you like to do that exercise now? Yeah. Shall we? Um, and, and basically it's, um, it's uh, an exercise where if you have a, a pen and paper, then that's good. If you can you know, or find somewhere that you can write down basically three thoughts. You know. so, um, so remember the three are one, maybe I can write it here. So one is for, uh, and then for the sense and for nature. So create three sentences basically is what they look like. And what these sentences contain will be words which are words of that you would love to receive. You know, I always feel that whenever, you know, whenever I, I get a gift for someone, even on a physical level, somehow I cannot give a gift that I wouldn't like to receive as well. And it just somehow feels incongruent, you know, to give something that I would rather not get. Um, it's a little bit like cooking food that you don't want to eat. You know? <laughs> and so somehow the, the sense of participation, the sense of involvement is such that I feel this and I want to offer this to you. Now, one very important aspect within all of this is that we want to shed some light of the Supreme Source on the gift of these blessings before we actually give them. So the first step is to create this blessing. So it could be, it could start with, I wish, you know, or I see you, I, you know, I visualize this, I see you as being, you know, fulfilled in everything, you know, that you think and do in your life, for example. Um, whatever it is, I see you as feeling secure and strong with every step that you take. Or with nature, I see nature, I see this land, you know, I see the earth as being abundant and balanced and beautiful again. I see the oceans as being so clean and, and filled with the life force energy of the element of water. Um, whatever it is, what, whatever wish, you know, there's nothing that's too big. So don't limit yourself for any of these three wishes and blessings. No. So is that okay? Is, do you have any questions before we come into that exercise? Yeah. If someone could give me an indication if that's all okay. Yeah. Okay, I don't see any sign of life. Yes, okay, Luca, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. So, so what we'll do now is we'll do, we'll start off with a little meditation and then um, you can, I will just leave some space where you can write down for yourself or if you want to write in the chat, then that's fine too. Um, just to write down these three thoughts, which when you give them energy, they will be powered up into be becoming blessings. So they start off as thoughts, as, as good wishes, and then they turn into blessings. 
And when you offer them, they become a gift. Okay. So I don't know if you want to say something, otherwise I put mute. Okay. Okay, so find a comfortable position and let your body relax. Take a deep breath. And feel yourself settling down, knowing that the next few minutes are moments of reflection, time to be with the self, time to generate these beautiful gifts that will be useful throughout the year. So first of all, I step inside, which means that my awareness is no longer engaged with my physical surroundings. They are there, but my attention is within. The impressions of what happened this morning, yesterday, what's yet to happen today, the past and the future, they all fade into the distance into the background and I become fully present in my beautiful inner space, in this sacred space, the essence of my being, the quiet of my consciousness. like the inner chamber of the soul. There may be thoughts and feelings yet to settle down. And I look at them with love and compassion. From the quiet of my inner chamber. Because it is from here that I can generate. I can create the gifts that I would love to share with others the gifts that I would love to receive. I have all the material that I need right here. Love, purity, peace joy, wisdom. And so I now take a moment to create three powerful, pure blessings. One for nature one for another person and one for myself. I just take a moment of quiet, a little bit of music, three or four minutes, just 
create three powerful thoughts that will become blessings. Just take another moment and maybe write down 
your thoughts if you haven't already. Okay, so thank you, Vatsi, for sharing deep cleansing breaths, compassion for others, and the ability to listen and see what remains unsaid. I guess those were each for each of those categories. Very nice. Anyone else like to share? so that we can have some idea of any, you know. Yeah, so here we go. May I walk in beauty and remember my song. May you be healthy, happy and prosperous. May you remain evergreen, always and everywhere. Thank you others. Yes, nature for others and self, yes. Great. Beautiful. So how did it feel as you were writing or reflecting on the blessings? What was the energy that was flowing through you? What was going on for you? Because even just by thinking them, it's like starting off the, you know, sending them off. And so very nourishing, yes. Nurturing, sorry. Nurturing, yeah. Absolutely. Yes, it's, it's really amazing, I think, the power of blessings. And, and even though actually it might be that we're offering these blessings to other people, but the first one who benefits is us <laughs> and the most uplifting thing is to offer blessings you know, offer the gift of blessings from the heart when it re you really mean it and you see clearly the beauty and the you know the, the power between behind you know, what's there in front of you, which maybe the other person cannot see. And so I wish to be more compassionate towards myself and embrace all parts of myself and all feelings, even the uncomfortable ones, such as sadness, disappointment, and to be able to sit with them. Beautiful. Great. No. And so you can even take out the, the word more, Luca, and just say, I wish to be compassionate. You know, because that is whole and complete. You know, and so that includes whatever is needed. And so that's beautiful. Yeah. Yes, one um, that I had for myself was, um, I see myself, and so I quite like to use that as a, as a kind of a, a formula to, to create the blessing, is I see myself as being clear, honest, and kind, even in the most difficult of relationships and interactions. And so this is something that that when it's a blessing, then you know, it's like a wish that this will now be easy for you to do. <laughs> and so it's like the energy, sending the energy in advance of ourselves. And, um, you know, and for, for one specific person, it was 
um, I see this person as having a sense of fulfillment and deep contentment with themselves and the people around them. And so seeing, you know, just when, you, when I think of, of these blessings, then you, I can almost visualize the face of the person, you know, becoming really like a flower that's in full bloom, you know. Same thing for the self is to be able to, you know, rather than like for myself in difficult interactions and relationships, rather than seeing myself becoming defensive and small and, you know, disappearing, I see myself as being honest and present and kind, you know, strong and, and completely there. And so, so this is something that is really enjoyable to do. You know. Or for example, I see the earth as becoming fully abundant and overflowing with love and cooperation with humanity, animals, and all living beings. And so the love and cooperation, you know, so reciprocative. Um, so yes. So anyway, you know, you can generate, and it's a beautiful exercise to do with the family or, you know, with friends to, to generate these blessings for each other. So what would be your blessing for you know, the first few days, for maybe one blessing for each day or one blessing for each month, you know, or one blessing for, you know, for each specific area of your life, um, one blessing for your body, you know, one blessing for time, your use of time. So it's, it's really, the scope is unlimited. You know? And it's like setting off an energy that in fact we will find as we step into the future. You know? And whether it's the, you know, the energy in the form of relationships with other people or with nature or with ourselves. And so, of course, what goes around comes around, you know. And so somehow being able to offer this gift, and it's a little bit like, you know, they say, um, there's a saying in India that uh, make a donation and then let it flow away with the river, you know. So, so don't look back and see, well, you know, what, what happened to it and where did it go? And so make the donation and let it flow away with the river. And so the same thing with the blessings is that you, you put everything into that blessing, into that gift. And then it's like you just you know, blow it and know that it'll go on its journey and do its work and uh, fulfill its purpose. So I wanted to read a little piece by Dadi Janki on thought power, and we can end there. And, and again, please, if you feel like writing anything, sharing your thoughts about this subject or any blessings that you create that you would like to share, then please do. So thought power. Through our thoughts, we are either gaining power or losing it. With pure thoughts, power is generated. And with impure thoughts, power is destroyed. Pure thoughts are those that express our spiritual personality. And impure thoughts are the others. They have nothing to do with our truth. Thought is the vehicle which takes us from our non-spiritual self to our truth. Spiritual knowledge is like a sieve through which we can filter out the untrue. No. 
running our thoughts through it constantly ensures that we are heading in the right direction. When thoughts are brought into action, they can be seen immediately. When the mind is filled with virtues, they will be revealed in our actions. By elevating our thoughts, we can literally end up purifying the self, inspiring others to do likewise. Our life in itself will be an inspiration for them to change. There won't even be the need to say anything. Our vibrations of pure thought can reach out and touch the whole world. Our very life can do the work of a lighthouse. And so these were some thoughts shared by Dadi Janki. And uh, maybe we can end here just with another few minutes of meditation, maybe another little guided meditation, just to feel what it's like to now offer these thoughts, the blessings that you've created. So, so in the meditation, we're going to fill these thoughts with the light of the Supreme and offer them, offer them as the gift. So once again, find that comfortable position inside and and just very quickly to come into that inner chamber of the self. Of our consciousness. Where these beautiful gifts are waiting to be distributed. And as I see these gifts, I see the light and the energy that surrounds them and that is within them. I realize that, in fact, I am a trustee of these gifts. These blessings come from the heart of the Supreme, the being of love, the being of truth, the benevolent one. And so as I watch the power of that generosity and abundance, that pure love being filled into these gifts, into these blessings, they become even more beautiful. And they are ready to fly from my inner chamber of my consciousness right to the heart of their destination. And I watch the first gift move like a beautiful ray of light becoming its pathway as it moves down that path going straight into the heart whether it's nature or the other person, or my own heart. 
one by one. I watch the gifts find their way along the path of light. Moving with the energy of love. These pure wishes and good feelings, the blessings from the heart. And then little by little from this beautiful inner chamber of quiet, of light, of my consciousness, I gently bring my awareness and my attention to my physical surroundings. And my feeling is of being enriched. Fulfilled. Thank you.